I realized that in the first video that I posted about Panoramio and uh, Google Earth that I may have posted just enough to intrigue you but also to frustrate you because I didn't show you how to see the blue uh, squares that are Panoramio photos. Now again, I'm going to tell you that I'm not going to tell you how you get a photo in Panoramio uh, partly because it's a complicated process that requires something called geotagging or an ability to locate a photo on a map. But anyway, uh, we're going to go somewhere else in the world here. Let's go to another famous tower, which was mentioned in my blog about the um, Space Needle. And this time we're going to go to Europe and to France and the Eiffel Tower. And as and now Google uh, Earth is doing this automatically, as we zoom in, you'll notice there are the um, blue squares that are the Panoramio photos. But I want to go down to this area called Layers, and specifically to the primary database. And you'll notice that if I uncheck Panoramio, the blue squares go away. And there they are. Now this is handy because you may not want to have all this clutter on your uh, maps. The other thing that you can turn on and off are the Street View um, cameras trying to click on that and it's not going away. Don't ask me why. But there's one other uh, cool thing that I wanted to show you here. And um, it's something called 360 Cities. And uh, this has been an ongoing project where you can take 360 cameras and um, take pictures. This is a very special high resolution camera and have them posted on Google Earth. You see anywhere you see the, uh, the 360. So let's click on one of these and there's the view but what we're going to do is we're going to fly into the spherical panorama. Now I've not tried this one so um, we'll see what we see. Uh, and we're going to zoom in here and now we have a fairly high resolution image of this scene at night, taken with a 360 camera. Kind of like street view, I suppose. And so anyway, there's a little bit more about how you use Google Earth and see Panoramio and other good things on Google Earth.